Hello guys and welcome. This is Captain Morley I'm from Bullet Sponge and we're playing a bit of sub Subnautica again today. And we wake up at the Alpha site. Um, and after finding the drill and we've also got the upgrades for the prawn suit. And having a deep think and some soul searching, I did some off-camera alterations to the Alpha site now. The Alpha site itself, at high level, is still fine. But uh, if we go to one of the. Oh! Weird, but pretty cool at the same time. We'll get a little chipmunk and we'll have a look downstairs. So the Alpha site is still fine as a whole, but there is no downstairs anymore. So, where is my prawn suit set up? Well, it's simple really. Uh, I moved it to the cavern entrance and because it's difficult as it is not to look at any social media or uh, video links to how to do this and how I've done my utmost not to look at any Subnautica stuff so not to experience the whole experience for myself really and to, to, to ruin it so what I've done <coughs> I got the main ad and I took it up to the alpha site and I disassembled all the lower half put all the parts on the ship brought the ship down here and built myself uh, basically a Charlie site really it's not been named yet because well the, the beacon there for this chasm is here and I have this whoops I don't want to get inside you yet uh, it's very simple it is mainly for the prawn suit because I think Welcome aboard the Captain. prawn suit is going to be the way to get to the depths now uh, is it on here? I can never remember as much as I play this game. My memory sucks. Uh, no, it's not here. It must be on the upgrades one. So, all the resources I got from disassembling and a little bit of farming myself because a major issue I had was uh, I actually stole the modification bay from the alpha site and brought it down here because I thought it would be more useful. Um, near crest pod number two, which I thought was quite cool. Uh, I do have solar panels on this, but I had to go out and make some reactor rods Oops, because it turns out we're too deep for any sort of sunlight so I didn't have power, so it took quite a while to build and get it all sorted and up and running I've got all the resources left there that I've brought down from uh, the main ad uh, I wanted to continue now what the biggest issue is, is this K9 now I've got everything except the K9, um, and I cannot. The only thing I can think of is it's in this chasm somewhere, because I've not seen it anywhere else. I've not, I've not really looked for it, truth be told, uh, anywhere in this cave except for the top section. So today we're going to get the brave socks on. All systems online. We're going to have a little drive down to Barry. Um, in fact, I'll leave a little chipmunk here, actually. Should be fine. Turn the lights off and leave it here. There we go. Put these upgrades on Barry that we've got. And we're going to take Barry into the chasm. Uh, I did put a couple of upgrades on the little chipmunk as well. Some light, uh, solar charging, and... 
um, a perimeter defense thing, which it doesn't really seem to do a lot, but the solar charging only, only works at the highest level. Uh, where's the upgrade pad? There we go. So, 1300 meters, wow, that's deep. And it should be able to jump pretty high. Now, power cells are good. We don't need to worry about them. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's good to be aboard, Barry. I don't know how high we can jump in this thing now. Oh, it's a lot more. That is a hellish amount of jumpage we have there now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can slow ourselves down now as well, which is good. It seems to recharge faster. That will avoid the big fella up there. See, I've, I've had a good look in and around here with little chipmunk anywhere um, and I haven't found anything as such so this could be the first into the depths we're gonna go I love those things they remind me of that old film that had Matt LeBlanc in um, oh god it was a terrible film uh, Robinson's in space is that what it was something like that there's loads of resources down here. But I've never taken... And this may be the end of this. I've never taken Barry down into these depths. Now, we're at 1,600 feet. And I hope, for the love of God, I hope this isn't going to destroy Barry. But, let's do this. Cushion this landing a little bit. There we go. So that's a big waterfall. Temperature's cold. We don't have. Oh God, it goes down even further. What sort of depths are we? Oh, we're at a decent depth, I suppose. you want fella? Copper. Yeah, that was still good. Now this is where the... What's that? I'd imagine this canine is going to stand out like a soft bomb. Drill lead. Lead PV insulates against radiation. Is that smart? Let's just drill it anywhere. Just lead. It's only lead. Alright, we've got rubies. If you look, think about it, the pod that we landed in is nearly directly above us here. I love this place, it's just unbelievable. Now, I can't remember if I kept to the left when I came down here last time. So that's what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to keep going left. Because there is a section of... Where am I stuck? There's a section... Sorry, there is a section of um, like lava section. Now, I'm pr I'm pretty confident. Even if I can't get Barry back out up the deep waterfall, I'm pretty confident. Oh, hello. Those are annoying because he'll teleport me out of my little, little pod. So just trying to avoid. Whoa, I didn't see you guys. Ha! I can fight back. Not very well, but I can fight back. God, the noises are scary down here. 
The only downfall of Barry is not, not very fast, not very maneuverable. I'm not going to let them put me off my little mission to find out what the crack is down here. Just, just ignore most things, taking the scary noises. Oops. Whoa. Still at a reasonable depth at the minute. So, yeah, we, we are near enough underneath where we originally crash landed, which is quite cool. Oops, stuck again. Keep getting stuck on these things, these are really annoying. Now, I don't know if it's just me or not, but all these caverns do look big enough to bring. The Cyclops down. This is a quite a big opening. This is the lava section. This could be the lava section. Let's just have a little skirt around here because I don't know how deep this goes. See you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't defend myself, so back off. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. All right, we're at a bit of an issue here. I'm gonna jump over there. Now can I can I go down there? Do you think? I think I've got the. There's a lot of guardian guys down there. Should work his way across slowly. In doing this, I think I've killed myself. Honestly speaking, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get Barry back out of here. I definitely don't think I'll be able to get myself out of here fast enough. What's that? That was cool. I don't know what that was. It's like these things. What are these things down here? Oh, do you know what? Let's go for it. That's like, like they're really badly damaged. What are you? You're like a terrifying seal of some description. Wow. We are really getting down here now. Now, I don't know if it's me, but that looks like a mineral I've never seen before. Could that be the mineral? Could that be the elusive canine? It is! Well, I'm going to drill as much of this stuff as I can get my hands on. Now, 
something. Barry is in, he's in here deep now, and me remembering how to get out of here is going to be interesting, but let's see if we can get out with the canine. This could be the most boring episode I've ever made in my life. Oh god. This thing's actually got some decent jumping. bothered about these guys because they walk me out and this area is quite hot. Oh, you know, they're a vicious thing as well. Look at this ledge here. The fact that I don't even know he's there is um, a little bit more perplexing but I've got some canine, I've got to get out of it. Test Barry to the limits here. Go on, Barry, son. Yes. depth thing down. Oops. I kind of know where to go, in no sense. Um, that, there's a lot of monsters down here, isn't there? So, we must be getting close to the exit. All I can think of. The actual design of this is absolutely, it's been proper wonderful, it's really good. We go. I'm really glad I remembered to put the jump mod on as well because I w don't think the prawn suit would get out of here with it off if if, what, if you're not main if I didn't put it on in the first place. What you really need for this place is you need beakers just to show you where to go because it's a bit confusing. It also seems if this canine I believe is no oh, whatever. If canine is the only mineral I believe I haven't got yet, I think. Respectively. Unless there's ones I don't know about, but it's really cool that I can jump and sort of hover at the same time. Um yeah, sorry I'm getting going off on a whim. It's weird that there's all these like big really minerals down here but you can't really access them until you've got nearly everything you need anyway which seems I think it's a bit of a waste really I know that there's big ones at the lower depths it just seems a bit silly in that respect but maybe that's because we are getting close to endgame I don't know but it's, it, it's quite nice this is um, even though obviously I'm talking and it's actually quite calming down here. I feel safe in the prawn suit. The prawn suit's a good piece of equipment. Uh, I like the way they designed it. The feel of it and everything is really good. And I can't. I'm look. I'm, this has been one of my favourite um, series that I've done. If you know what I mean. Oops, no, oops. What am I doing there? Yeah. Now then, it would appear though I'm lost. I don't remember this 
perception. I think I'm lost. What was that? <laughs> I do love the propulsion cannon. It reminds me of the uh, gra anti gravity gun thing on uh, Half Life. Now, this to me looks like a cavern, so I think I've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You can sort of hover, give it enough time to recharge, and you can hover, which is quite cool with the prawn suit. Now I've got this thingy on. Now, what I should be ending, heading towards is the beacon I put in the chasm, but. This place is really confusing. <laughs> but I don't I don't feel um as threatened as I did when I came down in the little chipmunk. Now all I'm really looking for I can remember surface is the big is the big waterfall. That's what I need to find. And we didn't pass that alien type cube thing did we either I don't think I'll be uh, I don't think I'll be scanning any of the life forms down here. I don't think that's stupid. I thought I was going the right way. But it would appear as though I am not. I'm definitely lost. That's that's absurd. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilized. That's going further down. Do we just follow the river? That's what we're doing, wasn't that? Yeah, that just that leads to nowhere. Oh dear. All of those lead to nowhere. And that just goes back on that one, doesn't it? Because then that stuff doesn't render in until 10 minutes later. <laughs> what I could do is I could get out in the. I've got the fox union. I have to do that. anything. Barry's only there so as long as I'm in a good enough place for him to get back to my oxygen we're fine. But I'm pretty sure it's not this chasm by the looks of it. This is the one I've just bounced all the way back down but I just want to double check. I can get a better field of view I think when I'm not in Barry than I can with this. This is where I feel vulnerable, my little hovery ship thing. <laughs> my little sea glide thing. So, I don't feel nowhere near as safe as I do when I'm in Barry. So, can I come this way? I'm turning my lights off just to say it's a chasm, but it's not. Whatever it is, it's dark. Oh, now I am getting a bit turned around now. 
head back towards Barry. This is, um, this wasn't part of my plan. I'll be completely honest with you. This is going to be pretty close as well. <laughs> My hair's low. I got turned around in the dark. Hmm. Will we make it back to Barry? That's a good question. Yeah, we should do, shouldn't we? I've got a few doubts now, actually. I wish the Sea Glide had like a temporary turbo you could use. This is going to be close. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm going to make this. Oh, no. Well, I suppose if I die and I spawn, I am aware of this. Six, five. I like the way I black out too quickly. Welcome aboard, captain. <laughs> that was mad. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm just gonna. Worst case scenario, which I don't want to do, is I could die. And Barry's got all the goods on him, so it wouldn't be a really big issue if I just left him down here, I suppose, and come back for him. The Cyclops or something. But we're not, we're not quitters. We're not quitters, people. We're not quitters. And I think I've found the way out now. I'd love to know where that really dark tunnel goes. Though. That was... It just went black. It was weird. Dude, my lights didn't seem to... render or... anything. It just I was using the scanner and that, that was really weird. It's an unusual feeling of being completely and utterly lost. Kind of answers the question for me as well. Would I... I'm going the right way now, look, because this is the prison. It kind of answers the question about the sea glide. Would I be able to make it out with the sea glide? And I don't think I would. I don't think I would get out with the sea glide. Not from the bottom here, anywhere. Is that an entrance to that place? Why have I never noticed that in all the times I've been down here? Well. Here's what's going to happen, people. Thanks for watching. We have just found something I never noticed before. So... It turns out that two missions became one, and uh, one mission became two. <coughs> yeah, you're really annoying. And yeah, yeah it's field of view. And I'll leave it at that, guys. Calorie intake recommended. 
that's fine. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that for now. I'll see you on the next one. Stay sexy, guys. Bye now. Thank you.